Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, you will learn how to create electrical diagram for emergency fire pump. So this is emergency fire pump wiring diagram. So I also uh, include here the panel board. Uh, for uh, uh, the purpose of simulation so you will see later after we are uh, creating the diagram so uh, I already cre created here the diagram and I had to explain to you uh, how this is a uh, diagram Created. So on board the ship, uh, we had the uh, auxiliary uh, auxiliary pump, or we had the emergency fire pump that is used for firefighting. So in case of uh, fire on board ship. So this is this pump is located in machinery space. So either uh, inside in the engine room, but uh, either inside uh, in the steering room. So uh, it should be a uh, 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 away from uh, engine room. So inside but a uh, little bit uh, the location is not uh, uh, near to the uh, engine the machinery uh, so how this uh, emergency fire pump uh, controlled by electrical or controlled electrically so in creating the electrical diagram, we have the power circuit and control circuit. So this is very important. Uh, uh, you have to separate the power circuit into control circuit uh, in analyzing. So in creating this diagram, uh, you have to collect all the components first. So by the way, uh, as you can see here, I, I, I installed a uh, uh, lot of uses. So uh, based on my uh, experience, I'm creating the diagram. It is more practical uh, to install fuses before the uh, components. Because... Uh, if you have uh, any mistake in uh, connecting the uh, wiring to the components, this uh, uh, fuses will break immediately. So, see to it that your uh, uh, fuse uh, installed uh, amperating is not higher the ampere rating of the component so it should be much or uh, lower than the uh, ampere rating of your components so it is uh, uh, very expensive very expensive to buy components such as contactors uh, relays or whatever timers rather than uh, to buy fuses so this will protect uh, the circuit, the component. So first you have to collect the components. So in the power circuit, so you have to put in place here all the components, the power supply. So this power supply uh, is uh, taken from the uh, uh, generator. And then you have here the circuit breaker. 
you have here the uh, relay contact on the contactor you have here the thermal relay and the three phase electric motor so here uh, I, I i put additional uh, ammeter uh, for the purpose of the uh, connection to the uh, panel board so we have ammeter here so i install an ammeter here because this ammeter has a variable to connect to the ammeter to the panel board so without this i cannot uh, uh, run the uh, what we call the ammeter in the panel board so there is a variable uh, should be connected to the ammeter to the panel board so that's why i install here uh, uh, an ammeter so those components are for power circuit so you arrange all of these components and you wire it one at a time so connect the circuit breaker so when you are doing the actual wiring uh, you have to follow the direction of the flow of current to the end let's say this uh, uh, this is the breaker the means is a uh, circuit breaker so the cb1 so i i label here cb1 so you connect the supply to the end of the circuit breaker and uh, the other side is the out of the circuit breaker so the direction of the flow of current so this is important and then you connect to the end of the uh, contactor so the relay contact of the contactor so this is a triple uh, relay contact of the contactor then the out of the uh, contactor uh, relay contact you have to connect the wire and connect also to the in of the thermal relay and the out of the thermal relay you should connect to the motor the three-phase motor so uh, that is for the power circuit now let us uh, continue with the control circuit so as you can see i installed here a uh, uh, fuses so this is to protect uh, the components in the control circuit so because i experienced i i uh, connected the, with the wire to the components uh, uh, i made a mistake in the connection so i had noticed that the the during the the simul the same simulation i had noticed that uh, the fuse uh, was uh, broke immediately so it's very important uh, in, in the actual wiring you should also install fuse as uh, shown here in the diagram so fuses and then uh, we have here the normally contact uh, normally open early contact and we have here the contactor so i love it here uh, uh, c1 or contactor one so this is easy contactor easy supply contactor and here i install the uh, transformer so this is a transformer so from 208 volts uh, it's reduced uh, to uh, 48 volts so here uh, i also installed here this and then uh, normally close overload relay contact and here I installed so this is a, a stop button but as you can see here I installed the fios uh, uh, because uh, in here uh, the emergency stop uh, there is no other uh, component that has a variable to connect to the emergency uh, stop switch 
So this is uh, so Kusinda I I should put here a uh, 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 break contact uh, post button switch but for the purpose of the connection to the uh, uh, emergency stop switch to the panel board I substitute with a fuse but uh, in uh, 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 the, the wiring is still or the wiring uh, connection is still the same so this is on the substitute but uh, supposedly uh, this is a, a break contact uh, normally uh, close post button now I install here uh, a make contact uh, start button and I install also here a holding contact so normally open relay contact I uh, uh, this one so here so I put here the uh, uh, brick switch uh, post button switch uh, stop switch and here is the fuse just to connect to the emergency stop switch to the panel board here I have a uh, 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 easy uh, contactor and here I install fuse. Here also I install fuse. And these are the pilot lights. So pilot lights for the source indication. Uh, pilot light for run indication. Pilot light for uh, stop indication. And pilot light for red indication. And I, I, I have here the normally open contact. For the run uh, for uh, uh, to energize the pilot lamp for a run indication I have here the normally close for uh, to normally close the contact to uh, de-energize the stop uh, pilot lamp indica indica indicator I have the, here the uh, uh, normally open relay contact to energize the pilot lamp of the trip uh, indica indication so these are the components that I, I had uh, collected uh, to create the control circuit so simply you have to arrange so arrange all the components accordingly and then wire it one at a, uh, one by one or one one uh, one at a time so you have to wire it correctly as i said uh, before you should uh, recognize uh, where is the inlet of the component and the outlet of the component uh, to avoid mistake in uh, especially in doing the actual wiring so uh, you have to wire uh, this uh, one by one and you have uh, I have here also I connected here a uh, ground so this ground uh, before uh, I already I always disregard this uh, ground uh, connection so when I, I plug the machine I disregard I, 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 I didn't connect the ground connection but now since I'm creating a diagram uh, I realize that this ground connection is very important so uh, if you are familiar with the pump the high pressure pump or whatever pump is that uh, or uh, any machine that, uh, that is pressurized there should be a relief valve or a safety valve. So this is the equivalent. So in, ca in case uh, of uh, excessive flow of current in the system, uh, the excess current will flow to the ground. So to protect your uh, components in the system. So this is very important. So now uh, you have to arrange all the components and wire it accordingly accordingly so 
now so uh, that's why I, I created uh, already this diagram uh, to save time because if I create this diagram uh, to show you uh, it's it takes a lot of time and uh, uh, it's not uh, uh, it's not good to explain here uh, uh, takes a, a lot of time to uh, create diagram the diagram so now we we already create the diagram so here also i i created the panel board i collect all the components so i will not discuss this one how to create this uh, panel board here uh, because this is another topic so anyway uh, if you are uh, eager to learn how to create this panel board there is a, a tutorial also in youtube so some other time i if i have time i will uh, explain also how to create this panel board so anyway uh, we have here the ammeter uh, the lamp for the source lamp for run indication we have the circuit breaker which is cb1 this one we have here the lamp for uh, stop indication we have, we have the lamp for trip indication. We have here the start button and stop button. We have the emergency stop and the alarm buzzer. So this alarm buzzer can be connected also to the uh, to the remote. Uh, let's say in the engine control room. But here, uh, since uh, the, we are doing a uh, uh, locally here, so I, I put the alarm alarm buzzer here. So, uh, we have already our diagram of emergency fire pump wiring diagram, which is power circuit and control circuit. So, this is completed. And the, uh, we have also the panel board. And here also, I connected with the uh, uh, ground wire. So, let us proceed with the uh, uh, simulation. So, I will simulate this diagram to verify if this is uh, created uh, correctly so now uh, I will switch on uh, I will uh, start or I will play the simulation so this is simulation mode now then I will uh, uh, switch on the circuit breaker so as you can see, when I switch on the circuit breaker, the circuit breaker here, the CB1 is energized because this is connected to the panel board here. So as you can see, the flow of current is indicating now. There is already a flow of current in the system. So both power circuit and control circuit. So now, uh, you cannot... Uh, uh, run the system without releasing the emergency stop. As you can see, the emergency stop here is open, so I will release the emergency stop. So now the circuit is closed. So we are now ready to start our emergency fire pump. So the source indication is illuminated, and the stop indication is illuminated. So you can uh, compare the intensity of the uh, illuminated, illuminated lamps by comparing this, as you can see. So uh, now uh, I will start the emergency pipe. As you can see here, uh, the lamp source is uh, illuminated. So they are connected. As you can see. So because uh, there is a variable to connect here. So the stop source is illuminated, as you can see, so they are both illuminated. And now I will start the emergency fire pump. So click the start. So just don't press. So as you can see, our motor is running. So I will repeat. So I start now. So our motor now is not yet running. So it's not yet running. So I will start now. So 
So just long paste the start button. So as you can see, our motor is running. So uh, the, the contactor C1 is energized. And uh, the contactor C1 here in the control system is energized. So remember, uh, the working uh, process here, all the uh, connected components is working together. You can see. C1, C1. C2 also, C2. So they are uh, working together. So as you can see here, there, there is already an indication of uh, what we call the current here. So I had noticed here he is, it is minus 1 decimal 3 ampere. So uh, there is something wrong in, in the wiring if, if the indication is minus. So this is plus. But anyway, this is uh, for the purpose of simulation. So uh, uh, this is uh, uh, still good. So there is a uh, indication now of uh, current in the ammeter. So here and here they are connected. And there is an indication of run in the pylon flap. As you can see here, the run indication in the panel board is uh, illuminated and the in intensity is, uh, you can uh, clearly, clearly uh, compare the intensity of the lamp. So now your pump is running. And if I'm going to stop the emergency power pump, so I just press the stop button. So don't press. And then your pump is stopped. So the stop indication is eliminated. As you can see, your pump is stopped. Now, I will uh, simulate the overload. So how this uh, uh, thermal overload protect the motor from uh, burning or uh, from damage. So I will simulate now. So I will start again. So by the way, uh, I can start the system here in the panel board and I can start also directly here in the diagram. But it, it is much uh, uh, what we call the impressive if you have the panel board. Because uh, uh, let's say you are a cadet and uh, you are only uh, starting here in the diagram. But on board the ship, you are using the panel board as well as if there is a remote control, you are using also the remote control. And you cannot see this diagram anymore. So it is uh, more impressive that uh, we have to use the panel board. That's why I installed the panel board, uh, panel board, uh, board here. So now I will uh, simulate the thermal overload relay to protect the motor. So since the motor is uh, uh, it's very expensive for the very expensive uh, to pay the uh, rewinding if this motor is uh, winding is born. Uh, I remember before when I was uh, uh, on board in the repair ship, so my, the motor or the air conditioned motor so was uh, damaged, was born, and uh, I send a sure uh, for rewinding. So since I, I have the files or the invoice in my cabin, I know how much uh, uh, this motor is only 37 kilowatt. But the company pay uh, in uh, uh, in dollars, US dollars, around two thousand five hundred. So I know the price because the 
the invoice the invoice and receipt is in my files and i i send also a uh, motor of the noble priming pump or auxiliary engine it's a small motor it's small but uh, the company pay 350 dollars so it, it, it's too expensive to uh, uh, rewind the motor so now we have to simulate the thermal overload relay to protect the motor from burning in case the motor uh, experience overload uh, there is something wrong here uh, the indication so i will uh, re re uh, i will uh, I stop and then start again. So there's something uh, wrong in the indication here. So I will uh, resume. The, I will resume the simulation. now that nothing that's normal now so i will put additional load in the motor so in the motor what causes to add to the additional load in the motor so it's a fluid that is being pumped with the pump and it's uh, either uh, the bearing is uh, not good condition anymore and a uh, little bit hard to turn and uh, it, it might be uh, the infiller is uh, touching to the housing, inside housing of the pump. So whatever, uh, uh, or it's either the viscosity of the fluid uh, being pumped. So uh, it's either, uh, or what, uh, whatever uh, uh, reason that the motor uh, become uh, overloading so now I will simulate so I will uh, uh, put here additional load so this is the constant load torque so I will put additional load so what will happen we will see what will happen to the motor now So can see. So the motor suddenly break because of the overload. So now your thermal really is disconnected the uh, power circuit. So as well as here in the control circuit. So your overload really here in the control circuit open as well as here uh, the thermal relay is disconnected so your motor uh, stop so your motor is being protected by your thermal overload relay so your motor now is uh, is not damaged because of the protection so this is very important this is very important so recently i ha i have a uh, uh, G is pump on board ship, and uh, uh, my port in, uh, engineer reported to me that the motor is uh, my port engineer and electrician reported to me that the uh, G is uh, general, uh, general service pump motor is board. So this the the control circuit and the power circuit was not working properly. So I reported to the company. So that is this is very important how your uh, control circuit and power circuit uh, 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 proper operation to protect the machine. So now I can uh, so I will put uh, now in a norm, in normal. So what happened? So 
So I will put back in normal. So I conclude that the, this circuit, a power circuit and control circuit of emergency fire pump when the diagram is correct because I simulated here uh, there was no any problem. So it is working properly as well as the simulation of the uh, trip, uh, overload trip. So uh, I hope you learned something uh, in this uh, video. So I have uh, more video uh, to, uh, to create. Uh, I hope you learn something. So as you can see here, the trip indication is also illuminated here in the control circuit. By the way, uh, I can uh, simulate also to you the control circuit here in the wiring diagram. So, and, uh, in the power circuit and control circuit so without using here the panel board. But in the actual, yeah, you cannot do that. You only uh, use panel board in operating the machine. So I will uh, show you now. Uh, here also in the, in the simulation in the control circuit and power circuit so I resume the simulation so I can start also here so as you can see switch on the breaker and then release emergency stop and then I can start the motor here can see so the system now is running as you can see there is indication of uh, current and there is also indication of uh, motor running and I can also stop here so the, the lights also are indicated run so I uh, the contactors are closed as you can see so I will stop here So the motor stop, as you can see indication here in the ammeter stop, uh, there is a uh, illumination here of the stop uh, uh, light indicator will as here. So, uh, I know that uh, we know that the, this uh, circuit is uh, uh, working properly as I simulated here. Uh, you see that this is working properly. So, uh, thank you for watching and uh, hope to see you on my uh, next video. Uh, if you are new in this channel, please click subscribe, please click also the uh, bell icon that you will know if there is a new video in this channel. Thank you for watching and see you on my next video.